thank you, Hannah, our post-birthday girl. She found my other phone that I used to order products with because I am placing my order on this as we speak. Okay, so you have your choice in sizes. What if I told you you could get cast iron that you don't have to worry about seasoning, that it is not your grandma's cast iron anymore. It is oven safe up to 550 degrees. It has that beautiful, all the properties that you love with cast iron. You ready for the price? Because we've got three different choices. Let's just do it, guys. I think, Steve, the 10 inch is the most limited at this point. Um, so we have it. Oh, the eight inches. That's actually the one. Okay. So the eight inches actually, I'm going to get the eight and the 10. Anyway, it's a smart deal price. It's been on fire. It's on five flex pay. It is dishwasher safe. Yes, you heard me correctly. Cast iron that is pre-seasoned, that is dishwasher safe, double-sided pour spouts. Use it on any range, obviously in your oven. You choose it in the eight inch, the 10 inch, or the 12 inch. Now, Steve, if you could help me on a tour. Okay. So in the eight inch, it is only available in in the black and the red. See, Hannah's so smart. She only put the black and the red out here. I know. It's taken a team today. It's taken a village to put me together. Um, on the 10 inch then, I would assume that we have the the black, of course, the blue. I think we're calling this teal. Um, the black, that's the black we talked about. There's the red and there's the rose gold. Now that's in the 10 inch. And then the same applies on that 12 inch. And you could make a case for getting all of them. I'll just show you real quickly because I got to get John Florell out here. Uh, helper handles, double-sided pour spouts. It is everything that you love about cast iron, meaning high temperatures, even heating, but none of the factors that go along with cast iron. And that means special care, special maintenance, worrying about rusting, worrying about oxidizing, worrying about weight. Even though this is cast iron, this actually feels a lot more comfortable for someone like my myself who um, does have arthritis and dexterity issues. All right, we gotta get him out here. My man with the plan. John Florell is back and John, you know I love having you in the kitchen. I was so pleased when they added you, me, you to my show because no kidding, I was actually doing a little search on that big website that is named after a river. And cast yeah. iron, it's like the wild west out there. It's like, if, if, if people love the idea of cast iron, but they don't like the idea of the care, the cleaning, the right. maintenance, the weight, you quite frankly, the price. It, you gotta season it, it right? Rocks. Yeah, uh, that, listen, Kitchen HQ is taking care of all of that uh, with our new Woodford nonstick inside our cast iron skillets with the pour spouts. I gotta show you this. I just did up a couple of eggs with some bacon. Look how these eggs just float around in that pan. Nothing sticks to our to, to the nonstick surface in our pan. I'm gonna just plop these eggs out here for a beautiful breakfast. And here's the best part about this, Shannon. They clean up with a damp cloth. I mean, that's how easy they clean. They're beautiful on the outside. So if you're gonna put them up in the kitchen, these are pans that you can keep out. But here, I gotta show you this because the nonstick is unbelievable. You can do things with our cast iron skillets that you can't do with pretty much any other pan in your kitchen. I've got like a quarter cup of sugar here and I'm just gonna sprinkle this out in the bottom of the pan. As this heats up, we're gonna melt down sugar, granulated sugar in the bottom of our cast iron skillet, okay? We're gonna let that melt down. And while that's melting, okay? I've got it on about a medium heat here. While that's melting down, I'm gonna come up here and show you these beautiful steaks. I've got a couple of strip steaks on here. I'm gonna flip these now. I got, here's the, why everybody loves cast iron. The heat distribution is perfect. It's hot from here to here, all the way across. So when you sear a steak in our cast iron skillets, they are perfectly seared from one end to the other. There's not hot spots, cold spots, medium spots. Every spot in here is exactly the temperature you want it, but you'll notice how everything just slides around in the pan. Nothing sticks. In fact, here, let's, let's have some fun. I'm gonna add some veggies to this. I'm gonna throw some mushrooms in, some onions, and we'll throw some bell peppers in here too for some color and, and for flavor, because I love bell peppers. Peppers and onions on steak, it's amazing, but I've got a little something extra here that we're gonna throw in. And this is something you would never do in any cast iron skillet that you may have used. At grandma's cast iron skillet, don't do this because you'll end up throwing it away. I've got general sow sauce that I'm pouring. This is sticky, ooey gooey general sow steak frying up in our cast iron skillet. 
And I'm going to let that go for just a couple of, of minutes here. While this is cooking, uh, then that general sal sauce is heating up and flavoring those steaks. Watch this. Here, I've got, oh, we're going to go back here to, look at this. We've got that sugar, and I'm going to start swirling this around because look at this. I'm going to talk about, you want to talk about nonstick? That was sugar that we melted down in our cast iron skillet. And Shannon, you want to talk about easy cleanup. Again, wow. a damp cloth is all it takes. I want you to see this. This was sticky sugar that we melted down in our cast iron skillet. You can imagine. I mean, look how easy that is to clean up. Let me turn this down. And I got to tell you, the nonstick is unbelievable. I mean, I've used nonstick cookware in the past, but this nonstick in our cast iron uh, kitchen HQ skillet is second to none. Let me put these burgers, and then I'm going to throw these salmon on because you can literally do just about anything cooking-wise on gas, electric. Maybe it's a glass top stove. I use them in the in the barbecue outside for baking in my barbecue in the oven. It's it's a, such a versatile pan. Here, look at this. I'm going to throw this. This is searing hot. Okay, I'm going to put salmon skin side down. Look, you can hear it sizzle. Look how it's shrinking up already. It's, it's, it's starting to sear, but here's the best part. I can take this pan and look at this. That salmon is sliding around in there like butter. There's no butter, no wow. oil. That's salmon fillets, skin side down in a cast iron skillet. John, I'll tell you what, the only mistake people can make is by not, well, A, not getting it, but you might want to consider getting more than one. I'm going to start with the 8-inch because the 8-inch is almost gone. I am adding that to, you bet I'm shopping again. That's why Hannah had to find my phone. Hey, it's so easy to shop if you are discovering HSN for the first, first time. Remember, you can scan that QR code. I actually do that express ordering. I go to hsn.com. 8-inch is the most limited. This will be your everything pan. I'm telling you right now, everything that you love about cast iron, but the things that maybe are a challenge, especially if you're a newbie in the kitchen. And frankly, even though I love to be in the kitchen, I don't want to hassle with the whole idea of, is it oxidizing? Is it rusting? I want to use wine. I want to use vinegar. I want to use lemon juice to finish off a sauce. You don't worry about any of those things. I want to throw the dishwasher. Now, you could easily hand wash this, in which case that special coating allows you to just literally wipe the thing out. But on the 8-inch, remember we have the black or the red. The black looks great. You'll probably see that in some of my Instagram posts coming up in the very near future. The 10-inch is kind of the Goldilocks pan. That's the one that, no kidding, perfect size, empty nesters, you know, whether it's families. It's our most popular uh, in terms of avail uh, availability. There's the black. We have it in the blue. We have the teal. There, there's that black again. There's the red, and there's that rose gold. And then same colors on the 12 inch. That's when you're doing your chicken pot pies. That's when you're doing your biscuits. That's when you're doing maybe a whole roasted chicken in this. Easter, not that far away. Easter's actually on my birthday this year, which is a, a kind of weird. So I'm going to actually be making some of the recipes my grandma used to do when my birthday would fall on Easter. But if you're cooking for a crowd or you're cooking for one, this is the one and done. Much like our Kitchen HQ stand mixer is one of those must have accessories in your kitchen, gotta have cast iron. But now you don't have any of the worry, you don't have any of the mess, you don't have any of the, you know, a typical weight. And John, at the end of the day, when I think of cast iron, not only is it comfort cooking, it's healthier cooking. You're not using fats, you're not using oils, but you hear that sizzle factor. There's something about that sizzle factor. When you can get a pan really hot and you don't worry about things sticking and you don't worry about the care and the maintenance, is it just my imagination? I think the foods taste better, don't you? They do. You know, cast iron cooking, if you haven't tried it, I mean, it's it's a different flavor altogether. Whether you're cooking, it, it, it's kind of like taking your barbecue from outside and bringing it inside. It has that rustic, down-home flavors, but you can do so much in this. In fact, these steaks are now perfectly done here. I'm going to flip that steak over to show you. Perfectly charged beautiful strip steaks that we did in our cast iron skillet. They're not sticking. Remember, these are my general sal steaks. Okay, look at that. It's stuck to the plate. <laughs> it's literally stuck to the plate, but not the pan. And here, in fact, let's show you this because I can take this pan sizzling hot right off the stove top and look at this. Watch how that just everything in there 
just glides out like it's on glass. And the cleanup, again, the cleanup, I think, is the best part about these. You don't even need a dishwasher. All you need is a damp cloth like this. And, I mean, it wipes out better than a dishwasher. <laughs> Look at that. It comes out absolutely beautiful. And nothing's burned to the bottom. It cleans up just like a dream. Here, here's those that salmon. Now, here's something you wouldn't do at home. I'm going to flip these over. And i got to show you, you know, anything that you've used on cast iron in the past, you know, they're, they're limited. And that's why everybody has a hard time cooking with them because you have to season them. You have to keep them oiled. Uh, these will never rust. They come pre-seasoned. You don't have to do anything to them. I'm gonna add a little dill to these on the backside. And here's something you would never do in grandma's cast iron. Here's lemon juice right over the top of this. You would never put, lemon juice would ruin the surface of the inside of any other cast iron pan. Here, if you miss that, I'll squirt some more in there. We'll really load this up. <laughs> We'll get that salmon tasting beautiful. Oh, here's what you're gonna love about it too. My burgers, these are done. It heats up so fast and it holds its heat. So when I take these burgers out, I put this cheese on here. I don't even know if you saw me do this. Okay, <laughs> it's so fast, but I melted the cheese down right into the pan. And again, the cleanup, look how nothing sticks. Nothing sticks to this pan. I'm gonna take a dry cloth this time just to show you. Look at this. The cleanup on these is absolutely, there is no cleanup. I mean, there's no soaking, there's no rubbing, there's no scrubbing. I know there's a lot of grease in there, but I just turned that off. I'll let that soak up the grease. While I'm doing that, I gotta show you this. Oven safe. You're gonna absolutely love this for baking. I've got a peach and raspberry cobbler going in the oven here. These are oven safe. Uh, to, to 500 degrees. Look at this. The, the large 12 inch has a handle on both sides. So you can do these large cobblers. You can do that roasted chicken. And the best part about this, when I place this out on a, on a trivet on the countertop or on my tabletop, because it's cast iron, Shannon, it's holding the heat. This will stay hot longer than any. It's a beautiful serving dish as well. But look at this. I mean, you want to talk about ooey, gooey, delicious, crunchy top, nice ooey gooey on the bottom, tender, juicy, unbelievable. And look at the bottom of that pan. Wow. Nothing is stuck to that. Oh, Shannon, John. Earlier today, I took a couple outside and I put them on the, on the, uh, I've got one of those uh, pellet smokers outside, those pellet grills. I actually did a couple of cornbreads on the grill in our cast iron 10 inch, okay? Now these are cooled down because I brought them in earlier, but I want you to see this. This is jalapeno cornbread, smoked jalapeno cornbread. And look at this. All I have to do is flip this up. The nothing wow. sticks to the inside of this pan. Oh. And that is on your barbecue. And you wanna talk about, look at this, perfect cornbread. I'm gonna break this in half. It's tender and moist in the center. Beautiful crust on the outside and that smoky goodness on the inside. It's absolutely, I mean, it's amazing what you can do with cast iron. The it cleanup is. is a simple wipe with a towel. Well, and again, you're only getting it here. Kitchen HQ, just so you realize, is a proprietary brand here at HSN. I have to tell you, if you try anything, you gotta do our, our, our smart deal, our this day only that's coming up with Chef Jamie Gwen, and you gotta do this pan. You do that, and it's gonna change how you cook, how you eat, how you serve, how you clean up forever. I'm serious, I feel that strongly about it. Even if you're not a cook, when I said everything tastes better in a cast iron pan, good grief, you could take those little pop-out biscuits from your deli case, even if you just bake them, store-bought things, and bake them in this pan, they taste better. Because not only does it hold the heat better, it has that uniform conductivity, but it gets really, really hot. Oven safe up to 550 degrees, smoke that macaroni and cheese, do that smoked corn bread, use it for your brisket, use it for your omelets in the morning. Do just even hamburgers or pancakes. You don't have to worry about seasoning. You want to finish off a sauce once more. It's cast iron without the worries, without a lot of the heavy weight. I mean, yes, it has some presence because it is cast iron, works on every range, and we have this price only as long as supplies last. I'm gonna start with the eight inch because if you want that black on the eight inch, 
either way, we're down to a couple hundred. So a couple hundred, 200 only on that black. And then we've got slightly more of that on the red, but to be perfectly honest with you, um, they are in sellout quantities, and that is one of the number one sellers in this hour, double-sided pour spouts, by the way. So the 10 inch is the Goldilocks size. Once more, the black and the red are the most popular, but we do have blue, or I'm sorry, teal, and then we also have blue and rose gold. And then for your briskets, for that cornbread, for that smoked macaroni and cheese, for your whole roasted chicken, for your prime ribs, for your ham, when Easter's coming up, there is nothing, nothing, nothing that beats a cast iron pan. There's just not. Rose gold, red, black, the um, teal or the blue. John, I gotta tell tell you, not only is it dishwasher safe, not only do you not worry about seasoning, you don't worry about oxidation, you don't worry about um, a transfer of flavor if you don't know how to care for a cast iron pan. Anyone and everyone who's watching this show tonight, whether they cook a little or a lot, or as I said, even if they take those little pop-out biscuits you get from the store and pop them in here, right. you gotta get the cast iron at this price with these features, don't you? The flavors, if you've cooked in other cookware on your stovetop, but have never tried cast iron. Uh, this is the perfect opportunity. Uh, you can do so much with this. It's such a versatile piece of cookware. The skillet is absolutely amazing. I just dipped this, uh, we're gonna do some uh, southern fried catfish. I put it in a little egg wash and my uh, cornmeal breading. Drop it into some hot oil. You can do this right on your stove top. It's an amazing, they're so versatile. Whether you're getting the 12 inch that's the one with the handle on both ends because it is larger and, and, and they are, these are heavy. Listen to this. I mean, these are solid cast iron pans, okay? All one piece, get the 12 inch, the 10 inch, the eight inch. I know a lot of people are getting the entire set, like all three pieces, because with the colors available, listen, it, 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 for any kitchen palette, I mean, it's an amazing set. And you know, Shannon, I was out shopping around and shopping online earlier. Looking at the prices of cast iron out there, this is an amazing value. I it mean. is. Uh, by the way, you were turning down. Are you with Kitty Cat and her husband? Are you, is that who's? I uh, am. See, that's what I thought. Okay, shout out to <laughs> to all my, my visual peeps. Shout that, out to Cat uh, and Keith. Cat yep. and Keith are <laughs> are turning it out with you know John in his kitchen. You know the whole truth is though you don't need a visual styling team in order to get perfect results with this. And John, I think that's the big thing that people need to realize. I don't care what kind of cooking they're doing or just even reheating leftovers, grilled cheese, right. hamburgers. Yes, you can do fish. Okay, now normally that would put the fear into the heart of any cook in America, John. Right, and this is just, this is a damp cloth is all I'm using. It, listen, even if there's burnt chunks at the bottom, listen, if I love this too. We do, we, uh, you know, when, if you're gonna do a roux for your uh, uh, you know, you know, Cajun cooking, this is the perfect, the perfect pan to do a roux. Uh, you, you, I mean, the bacon grease, you add a little flour, add that trinity to this and you got the best gumbo you have ever had in your entire life out of cast iron and the best part shannon the cleanup i know <laughs> i mean bravo no. john <laughs> so good to see you my best to cat and keith of course and to you i hope people are trying this john we always love it when you're in the kitchen you're going to love our smart deals. Go to hsn.com and you can actually see all of them, including our today's special and some other goodies that we have in this show. Um, don't hang up on that eight inch. Remember that eight inch is the most limited. Only a couple hundred of those to go around. Okay. My two got to have it items are right at the stop, uh, start of this show. If you, we are all family here at HSN. If you cook or if you don't cook, I'm just telling you, you need this item to 